had a singer hang upside down to try uh, doing a vocal part uh, upside down. I almost killed him. Uh, I won't do that again. That was uh, Serge from System of a Down. My name is Sylvia Massey, and I'm a record producer. I produce music for a living. I started in radio. I was a disc jockey, and we had a college radio station that I worked in uh, day and night. Loved it. And then um, I got into commercial radio, but found out that commercial radio really was not about the art. And so I got into recording the music instead. What, what does a great producer bring to the table? Well, I think that a producer will open up the mind of the talent to give them permission to do things they normally wouldn't do. And in order to do that, you have to make them as comfortable as possible uh, or as uncomfortable as possible. Uh, so I'll manipulate a situation to get the best performance and get the best out of a, uh, of a musician. Well, I found out from uh, early on that the talent really needs a producer. Uh, maybe they don't think they need a producer, but they do. They really need me. Uh, the most intimidating artists, I, I worked with Slayer, I worked with Tool, System of a Down. Uh, these are aggressive uh, bands and hard music, and uh, I'm just a girl, you know. Uh, are they gonna take me seriously? Well, yes, they will. If I come in with guns a-blazing, they're gonna take me very seriously. Vocals are very sensitive. Uh, it, vocalists uh, are really bearing their soul to, to me when they're singing. So I have to uh, let them know it's okay and take them farther than they would on their own. Another way I'll get a good performance out of an artist is to just distract them. Take them out of the what is a normal environment, put them in a, a different place and watch what happens. One thing I did with the singer of Tool to get him to do a better performance was um, I had him run around the block. I, I said, you're not hitting this, this part uh, as good as I know you can, so we're going to uh, take your headphones off, go outside, run around the block five times. And he was so angry. He really you know, cursed at me as he went outside and ran around the block five times. Came in and screamed. And that was the scream I wanted. After that, everything is, it becomes so easy for, for the artist. Then you get back into a normal recording environment and suddenly it's much easier for them. Uh, one of my uh, most important jobs is to keep uh, the project moving forward on time and on budget. Uh, because the artist brings me a certain amount of money. There's no more money after this. So, um, so I have to make it work. And I'll first figure out uh, my crew. Who am I going to need for the initial part of tracking? Who am I going to need for the, the overdubs? Who am I going to need for the vocal recording? And who am I going to need for the mixing? And then I schedule those people into those slots and have them on call and ready. But I want to make sure that everyone knows what their job's going to be and have them ready to go. I want the talent to look towards me for answers and for guidance. I want them to feel comfortable making mistakes. And I think that some of the best music is full of mistakes. But you would never know it because you've, you've come to know the, the song as having these special moments that in, in reality, in the studio, were not intentional at all. You never know what's going to happen with recording music. If there's a performance, a problem with, a, with an instrument, uh, the singer has a bad day, the singer gets sick, well, you're going to have to make some quick decisions. At, at some point, I'll uh, 
kick people out of the room that are unnecessary. If they're, if they're dragging uh, the session down, they're out. And it's nothing personal. It's just that we have to keep on time. I'm actually a very nice person, but you know, when it's time to go, we're going. And I'll kind of push people out of the way to make sure that we get this project done and on time. Is there a better performance to be gotten? Or is this it? Without a producer, and this is how valuable a producer is to a music project, is that a musician left to their own devices will never finish their project. The artist might say, oh, no, 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 I can do better. But maybe not. The producer has to make that judgment and say, you know what? This is as good as it's going to get, and it's good. One of the best qualities of a producer is to know when something's finished and to step away from it and say, that's it. Uh, when you're doing a record project, there is a curve. There is the, the high point at the beginning of the session when everyone is, it's just a love fest. Everyone realizes that we're all together on this. And then you're in the middle of it and then you kind of get dragged down. And then it's like, oh my God, oh my God, we're, we're getting up to the end of the time that we have and we still have to do this and this and this. And then there's panic that sets in. And then depression. And then, the clouds part, the mixes get done, everyone is extremely happy, and then slowly, right towards the end, you see the light, and, and you've done it.